This week on The Wire, Australian homes now worth $8 trillion. Government expands first home buyer scheme and no budget change to tax matters. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week. Australian homes now worth $8 trillion. So housing remains the nation's largest asset class, well ahead of shares, superannuation and commercial developments, as residential property prices continue to rise. Now the total value of residential real estate in Australia has reached $8.1 trillion, and that's according to CoreLogic, followed by $3 trillion of superannuation, $2.7 trillion of Australian listed stocks, and $964 billion of commercial real estate. Now CoreLogic Head of Research Eliza Owen says the Australian dwelling market has reached fresh record highs for the past four months and at the end of April marked the first time the total value of Australian housing broke the $8 trillion mark. This puts residential property at around four times the size of Australian G GDP and $1 trillion more than the combined value of the ASX superannuation and commercial real estate stock. Now, call logic data suggests that in the three months to April, national home values rose 6.8%, which is the highest quarterly growth rate since 1988. Now, guys, moving on to our next story. Government expands first home buyers scheme. So Treasurer Josh Frydenberg confirmed in this week's federal budget that another 10,000 places will be added to the first home loan deposit scheme. And the incentive allows first home buyers to buy a new home with a deposit of 5% without paying lenders mortgage insurance, with the government guaranteeing the remaining 15%. Now the first home loan deposit scheme consists of 10,000 spots in each wave, and the last wave saw the caps on the value of eligible new homes lifted to $950,000 in Sydney and $850,000 in Melbourne. In the other capital cities, participants could buy a property worth $550,000. Now the budget also lifted the maximum amount of superannuation contributions that can be released under the First Home Super Saver Scheme to be used to save for a first home deposit from $30,000 to $50,000. Now Frydenberg says it is about giving people the opportunity to get into the market. Now guys, for our final story of the week, no budget change to tax matters. So those with a stake in the Australian property market can sleep easy after the official delivery of the 2021 federal budget. Now the 2021 budget includes a number of measures relevant to property investors. As expected, it doesn't change existing arrangements on negative gearing, nor does it touch capital gains tax. Now the lack of action on negative gearing was largely foreseen by property experts with Wright Property Group's Victor Kumar commenting that parties don't mess around with property and pre, uh, sorry, property and tax pre-election. If they do, they get annihilated at the elections. Now also a new family home guarantee has been introduced. This will allow up to 10,000 single parents to purchase a single home with as little as a 2% deposit over the next four years. The scheme comes into effect from July 20, 2021 and is subject to a similar price cap system as the existing first home buyer scheme. Now, the first home loan deposit scheme launched last year will be expanded for a second year, providing an additional 10,000 places in 2021-22. Well, guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow us or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week. And remember, guys, it's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.